a very good morning to all my dear students students we have started a new lesson that is lesson number 3 diversity in living things and their classification right and in our previous lectures we have learned about the classification in plants the diversity in plants and the need for classification in plants isn't it today children we are going to learn diversity and classification in animals so let's begin different animals have developed different shapes to survive in the environment there is a great variety in the body structure of animals too the amoeba that cannot be seen with our eyes the huge elephant the small nail snail the fish that swims in water a kite that flies high in the sky butterflies that flit around flowers a house lizard that crawls on a wall are all the animals and each one has different characteristics so animals are classified according to four types on the basis of cell structure on the basis of method of reproduction according to vertebral column and according to habitat now children we are going to learn each one of this in detail first on basis of the cell structure unicellular and multicellular what is unicellular children it means it is made up of only one cell therefore the name is unicellular single cell life performs all functions of the life okay it is only a single cell which performs the all the functions of the organism for example amoeba bacteria as you can see on your screen children the picture of amoeba and bacteria they are made up of one cell that is unicellular and the next is multicellular it is made up of more than one cell they have specialized cells which perform different life functions for example nerve cells so the example for multicellular organisms is humans okay children so in unicellular it is made up of only one cell whereas in multicellular it is made up of more than one cell in unicellular only a single cell it performs all the different life functions whereas in multicellular there are specialized cells the example nerve cells which performs different life functions i hope you understood the classification of animals on the basis of cell structure okay the next is classification of animals according to vertebral column so it is divided into two animals which have a vertebral column and animals with non vertebral column now animals with vertebral column are known as vertebrates okay animals which have a vertebral column are called as vertebrates for example snake fish kangaroo humans etc so all these animals are vertebrates 
that means they have a vertebral column and animals such as snails cockroaches earthworms do not have a vertebral column and therefore they are called as invertebrate animals understood children good now the next is on the basis of method of reproduction children we have learnt that producing another living things like one self is called reproduction right so method of reproduction is of two types oviparous and viviparous let us study them children what are oviparous animals animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animal for example hen snakes etc right a hen lays eggs and hatches them after a few days the young chicks hatch out of the eggs so what are oviparous animals animals which lay eggs and got it next is viviparous animals animals which gives birth to their young ones are called as viviparous animal for example cow elephant etc children a cow gives birth to a calf right before that the calf grows within the cow's body okay so the animals which gives birth to their young ones are called as viviparous animals so according to the mode of reproduction animals are classified into oviparous animals which lay eggs and viviparous animals which give birth to their young ones i hope every one of you have understood this now the next is according to the habitat according to the habitat animals are classified into terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibian animals and aerial animals let us first study aquatic animals animals which lives in water are called as aquatic animals for example octopus dolphin sea turtle what are these called children aquatic animals which lives in water got it amphibious animals animals which lives both on land as well as water are called as amphibious animals for example frog salamander etc so what are these these are the animals which lives both on land and water therefore they are called amphibious animals now aerial animals animals who naturally fly glide or soar in air these animals are called aerial animals right for example crow pigeon butterfly honey bee right all these are aerial animal though they live in different places these animals are said to have an aerial mode of life got it children good now children let us learn the important points to remember in this lesson okay first plants are classified on the basis of their height 
and the shape of stems period of life cycle and habitat on the basis of height and shape they are classified into trees herbs shrubs and vines according to the period of life cycle plants are classified into annuals biennials and perennials on the basis of their habitat plants are classified into terrestrial plants aquatic plants plants on marshy lands and plants in desert area okay and animals are classified on the basis of cell structure vertebral column method of reproduction and habitat on the basis of cell structure animals are divided into unicellular and multicellular animals according to vertebral column they are classified into vertebrates and invertebrates on the basis of habitat they are divided into terrestrial aquatic amphibians as aerial animals according to the method of reproduction animals are classified into two types that is oviparous and viviparous animals with this children we have finished our lesson number 3 diversity in living organism and their classification i hope every one of you have understood this lesson hope you find today's lesson interesting children kindly watch the video attentively and then please read the whole lesson for better understanding we shall meet you in our next video with a new topic till then children take care we miss seeing you children thank you